After revealing the second generation Nero late last year, Kia is now providing more information about the second generation of this small hybrid crossover. The 2023 Kia Nero will again be offered in hybrid, plug-in hybrid, and electric forms with the conventional hybrid set to arrive first. The new Nero has had a growth spurt as it's bigger in every possible dimension. At 4,420 mm long, 1,825 mm wide, and 1,545 mm tall, the electrified crossover is 65 mm longer, 20 mm wider, and 10 mm taller than its predecessor. The distance between the axle S has been extended by 20 mm, resulting in a wheelbase measuring 2, 70 mm. The new Nero has had a growth spurt as it's bigger in every possible dimension. At 4,420 mm long, 1,825 mm wide, and 1,545 mm tall, the electrified crossover is 65 mm longer, 20 mm wider, and 10 mm taller than its predecessor. The distance between the axle S has been extended by 20 mm, resulting in a wheelbase measuring 2, 70 mm. With a slightly longer wheelbase, an increase in width, and a 2.5 inch longer body, that should provide, both more passenger space, and extra cargo room. Its styling, is taken largely, from the Habanero concept car, and will offer interesting trim customization possibilities, eight exterior colors are on offer, with six color options, for the contrasting C-pillar trim, and three trim choices, for the body cladding. Inside, the Nero comes with a 10.3-inch touchscreen, and a digital gauge cluster, like many other new Kia models. A rotary shift knob, previously seen only on the Nero EV, is now standard, on the hybrid models as well. The Nero Hybrid will again use a powertrain that combines a 1.6-liter inline-4 gasoline engine, an electric motor, and a six-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. Kia says total output will be 139 horsepower, the same as before, and it will be front-wheel drive only. Details aren't yet available on the plug-in hybrid or electric versions, but they will surely use more powerful electric motors and larger battery packs. Thanks for watching. And give your comments below.